Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here and today I'm back for episode number 53 of my Jim Lowry Road to the Show series here on MLB The Show 16. So in the last episode, we started off the 2021 regular season with a victory on opening day and now we are moving on to the month of May. You can see how Lowry's done through his first handful of starts so far this season. Very good numbers so far. The FIB down at 2.28 which is what you like to see, and we're taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates in a game number one this episode from PNC Park. And you can take a look at the uniforms that the Cardinals are going to be rocking here this afternoon. It should be a fun one, an interdivision rivalry here. And it's Josh Harrison lining that one towards the second baseman, but a lunging Colton Wong makes the grab and a nice defensive effort there in the first inning to back things up for Lowry. Now it's Chung Ho Gong ripping one into right center field. That's going to get down. It will go all the way to the wall. Gong's going to have himself extra bases. And he has reached second base now here with no one out in the inning. It's actually on third base after a wild pitch. But the next man strikes out swinging. A big strikeout for Lowry there. Now Chance Vale up and he puts this one in play. But he grabs it right at Machado who fires towards home and gets the runner. Gong thought he could try and go home on contact there. But Machado guns him down and keeps this game tied and then later in the inning this one flown towards deep right field but the right fielder is going to be there and then we'll get Lowry out of the inning so he does not allow a run now Gregory Polanco up with a man on and a one man down in the third that one is grounded towards a ranging shortstop the second for one on to first and a nice 6-4-3 double play there now on to the bottom half of the fourth it's Eric Osmer up he's ahead in the count 2-0 and he's going to rip one down the left field line that gets down and it actually gets by the left fielder there who misplays it. Osmer speeding around first. He will actually hold up at second there. I thought he might go for third. But he will hold up there. Now Harrison up next. The 1-1 count. He's going to ground one just past the second baseman there into right field for a base hit. Here comes the runner around third. He will score. And that officially puts the Pirates on the board here. Giving them a 1-0 lead. Now Lowry at the dish here in the top half of the fifth. Using the show motion option here. He's actually going to rip one towards right field. That gets down for a base hit. So a legitimate base hit. Not a cheeky little bunt base hit for Jim Lowry. The first uh, the first one we've had in a gameplay video in a while, I think. But anyway, hitting obviously never been my strong suit in this series. But another misplay by the second baseman Wong there. That's going to let runners move up to first and third. With uh, just one out in the inning for Gregory Polanco. Now the 1-2 count. He goes down on the changeup. A big strikeout there for Big Jim. Two down in the inning now for Eric Osmer. The 1-0 count. He's going to ground one. Machado's got it. Fires on the second in at time to get the force out. And Lowry escapes the jam. No runs cross. So we got a 2-1 lead here in the bottom half of the seventh chance. A veil up. He goes down on that slider in the dirt. Another strikeout. For the starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, Jim Lowry tonight now. Bottom seven still next. Batter first pitch. That one is ripped towards deep right field. And that is going to be caught by the right fielder. A nice running catch. I thought this was a pretty nice play. That could have gone down for extra bases. Next batter is Pedro Alvarez. The 2-2 count. He's just browsing at that slider. The backdoor slider that just catches the outer half of the zone. Now Polanco up in the 8th with two strikes on him. He goes down on what looked to be a change up in the dirt. It gets away from the catcher though. And Polanco will actually reach base safely. So now... With the uh, with a four-run lead, it is going to be two men on for Harrison. He's going to ground this one, but that gets into left field for a base hit. So after Eric Osmer walked Harrison with a, an RBI base hit there, Osmer gets up to third base, and that's going to bring the tying run to the plate here in what is now a 5-2 to two ball game, and that would do it for a big Jim. His night would be done. So we do end up pulling out the victory, 5-4. to four, A couple more runs would cross. Lowry was only tagged for one iron, though. Over the seven plus innings of work, five strikeouts to just one walk, and the Cardinals do pick up the five to four victory. Now moving on to the month of June, we're going to be playing another early month game here this time against the New York Mets once again on the road. And you can see Larry stats still looking pretty good this year, two point four three ERA in the WHIP below one, which are both things you like to see. Daryl Setsalani uh, starting things off here for New York, but the barehanded play. That is actually not Manny Machado over there at third. We've got the uh, replacement in here, giving Machado a day off in this day game after a night game. It is Francisco Lindor going down on the high fastball there. Now Travis Darno, he takes that pitch, the throw down in time. So the defense really stepping it up this game. We've seen it a couple nice plays so far. And then Darno is going to go down at the slider out of the zone. 
So another strikeout for Big Jim now on to the third inning. One, two count. The 25th pitch of the afternoon for Jim is going to be another strike three, this time on the cut fastball. Then it is Juan Lagares up the one, two count. He's going to go down chasing the breaking ball in the dirt there. Drop third strike though to first in time. Now one down in the fourth inning. Two, two count. Lowry again with the strike three pitch, this time on the high fastball, 100 miles an hour. And then Lindor for the second time tonight. He's going to go down again on the fastball. So, four perfect innings so far for Big Jim. On to the fifth now. It is Dominic Smith up. He's going to go down again on the breaking ball in the dirt there. That actually might have been a changeup. I'm not even sure. But Lowry really dominating from the get-go so far here today. Darno up now with two strikes on him. He goes down on the cut fastball. So Larry racking up the strikeouts and not allowing a base runner so far. They would finally get a man on, though, and it's Setsalani lining that one over the third baseman's head there into left field for a base hit. Runner coming around, he will score, and just like that, the Mets not only are on the board, but take the lead. So Larry had been dominant for so long so far today. He does get out of the inning, though, inducing the 4-6 put out right there. Now Brandon Nemo up with one man on in the eighth. He goes down on the high fastball. Big strikeout there for out number two. Now Darno up next. This one gets away from the catcher, but bounces right off that brick backstop, and Francisco Lindor is dead meat at the plate. So that would do it for Larry. That would actually be the last out that he recorded. Seven strong innings, nine strikeouts, only four hits and only one run, and that is going to do it. So you can see how Jim's stats are looking through his first three starts. We're going to do the final three starts of the regular season in the next episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. It does them out. Peace.